how to cure zombie villagers. Let's find out in the video. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jax, and today on our, our Minecraft Tuesday Quick Tips, uh, we're going to talk about some of the things that are going on with the new updates. Uh, you know, we just got to version 1.11 on Bedrock, and uh, we've got a hot fix to 1.11.1. Uh, to take care of some light level issues with the uh, spawners and uh, we got the 114 full release of the village and pillage uh, update for the Java version and uh, so we need to talk about it it's in the title update uh, for both versions even the villagers uh, they're important to us uh, uh, we, we use them for farms we use them for trading um, and we use them for some of the different mechanics of generating golems and and, and things like that so Say you already have a world that you've created and uh, you haven't really done much with villagers and or your village got ran over by a zombie horde and stuff and so all the villagers are gone. But every once in a while you, you still, even in both versions, you, you can find a zombie, zombie villager running around. And what we're going to do today is learn how to cure that zombie villager and be able to start looking at what we can do with trades and stuff. But today's video is just... We're going to talk about the quick tips of just getting it cured. Um, we're lucky in, in the Bedrock version, you can get uh, zombie villagers through the spawner, the zombie spawner, but that's not possible in, in the, uh, the Java version. So if you don't have a villager or a village close and you need some villagers, you're going to have to go out at nighttime and actually uh, try to trap one and uh, see if you can cure it. So I've got some stuff set up already here. I've got some creative commands here to, to make the process work. Uh, we're going to use a zombie uh, spawner egg. And I've already got actually the zombie guy over here that we're going to use. And you're going to need some blocks of your choice, whatever. Uh, you're going to need a ladder inside this hole. For this hole. You need a golden apple and the uh, push and a weakness. Uh, you don't need the long one, just use the, the short one. And it needs to be a splash potion, which you use uh, gunpowder to make. So uh, to get started, you're going to need a, a tube of two hole, uh, two deep, and a ladder placed at height level so you can jump onto it and get out of the hole fast. Uh, right now, the mechanics don't, the mobs don't track and, and, and climb up ladders, so uh, that's to our advantage. But we do need to have the hole to catch them. This is one of the easiest methods. You can run around, you can create a, a trap like this and try to trap a man, but my experience uh, having a hole is the easiest way to do this. So what we're going to do is go ahead and switch uh, into creative or into survival and we're going to set it at nighttime. So otherwise, uh, and that's why we need our blocks, because if you try to catch a zombie at, at daytime, then uh, uh, our time didn't change but if you try to catch one at, at daytime they're going to burn up unless they're hiding underneath the tree or something so let's see i think maybe i turned my game a little off game full game rule <laughs> do uh, uh daylight cycle we'll turn it to true and let's see if we can set it to night again Uh, I've got these two right here next to each other. That's what's causing a problem. Okay, so let's just do uh, time set nine. Okay, so we're back. It's nighttime, and we got our zombie villager. Say we, this guy was just running around loose, and we're gonna need to change into uh, survival. And there he goes, he's coming after us. So we're going to jump down the hole. He's going to jump in and, and attack us, but now he's trapped. So what we got to do is, is cover him up. And I need some more blocks, so we're going to switch back into creative real quick. And if you're fast enough at night, but if say it's close to uh, the sun rising, you just go ahead and cover him up and you can dig down later. And we can come over here and take care of him this way. So we'll just say that that's the case. It's uh, daytime. So we'll switch back to game. Uh, 
time said day now it's daytime we've had time because uh, we did, were expecting maybe to, to capture him so fast and we need our potion of weakness in our apple so we go down and what you got to do is throw the, plat the potion of weakness on the villager zombie and then give him the golden apple so you can see now you can see the different effects happening he'll start shaking until he turns actually into a, a normal villager and this can take a little bit sometimes it, it happens really fast and sometimes it takes a little longer but we'll just allow this to happen we can kind of sneak on here and see him he still might attack you during this time or hit you so you still want to be careful and, and he still will burn it uh, in this stage so the best thing is just let him do his thing and then we'll have a cured villager now I was talking about spawners on uh, the bedrock version uh, you'll f have to figure out a way to separate uh, the regular zombies from that uh, minecarts are probably the easiest way to do that just like village transportation so you could block them off and have them get into minecarts it's probably the best way to do that that's what most people do use but you're going to need a bunch of golden apples and you're going to need some potions of weakness so uh, you know make sure you got your brewing stand set up and everything uh, this is not really you know something you're going to do within the first day probably of minecraft unless you just find a village and you can start gathering your your villagers but like i said i think uh, with this new update uh, villagers are uh, pretty important if you want cats now it's pretty easy to get to cats uh, with having enough villagers and then you'll have that wandering trader actually show up too so you know if you want to do trading with him that's one of the keys to success for that is to get enough villagers in an area which I do believe that's like five and then there we go so we can look at this guy here he's a shepherd and we can see this is some of the new trades but as far as what this tip for today is uh, getting a, a, a zombie villager spawned in or get, get a zombie villager and turn him into a regular villager was the goal and, and we've got that done so guys uh, I hope this helped you out if you didn't know how to cure a villager or you, you maybe want to know a little bit more how to capture one and and get them cured this will help you out all right guys have a great day and I'll talk to you on the next video Enough.